assignment. Bakit? Ano ba assignment niyo? Theory of evolution sa origin of species ni Charles Darwin. Kaloka nga, hindi ko maintindihan. Kanina pa ito. Alam mo, may solution ako dyan. Magic book. Ito, oh.
long ago, when the planet was still young. They were monkey-like creatures called Ardipithecus ramidus. These are the most monkey-like human bones ever found. Findings show that Ardipithecus ramidus may have walked upright and lived in the forest. They lived 4.4 million years ago. The next stage in our evolution was to what we call Australopithecus anamensis. They were still a lot like monkeys, but walked on two feet. They lived 4.2 to 3.9 million years ago. Australopithecus afarensis was the next stage. They had small brain cases and large teeth and chewing muscles like a chimpanzee. However, their teeth, as well as their leg and pelvis bones, exhibit human-like characteristics. They ranged in height from 3.5 feet to 5 feet and walked upright. They lived 3.5 to 2.9 million years ago. Next came Australopithecus africanus, which had a slightly larger brain, but still only slightly larger than a chimp's brain. Smaller canine teeth and larger molars. The wear of the teeth suggests that they ate fruit and foliage. They lived 3 to 2.4 million years ago. Australopithecus robustus are believed to be roughly the same size as Afarensis. They had a large, robust, heavier, thicker skull, as well as large teeth and a jaw that were adapted to chewing. They lived 2.1 to 1.6 million years ago. Australopithecus boise is similar to Robustus, except that its skull and teeth are even larger. Some experts consider the two closely related, both branching from another species, called Aethiopicus. Others believe Robustus evolved from Africanus. Like all of the Australopithecus species, Boise walked upright. They lived 2.3 to 1.1 million years ago. Homo habilis, which actually means handyman, is apparently the first species to make and use primitive stone tools. About 5 feet tall and weighing 100 pounds, Homo habilis had a brain that was larger than the largest Australopithecus brain, but smaller than the Homo erectus brain. They lived 2.4 to 1.5 million years ago. Homo erectus. Despite the primitive appearance of its skull, the erectus skeleton is very similar to that of a modern human's, although more robust, thicker and heavier. Homo erectus was probably the first humanoid to use fire. They lived 1.8 million years ago, to 300,000 years ago. Homo sapiens archaic, also known as Homo heidelbergensis. This species has a brain that was larger than Homo erectus's and smaller than that of a modern human. The brain was enclosed in a skull that was more rounded than Homo erectus's. They lived 500,000 to 200,000 years ago. Homo sapiens neanderthalensis, averaging 5.5 feet in height and possessing short limbs, Neanderthals were well adapted to living in a cold climate. Attached to their robust bones were powerful muscles. The Neanderthal's brain was larger than the brain of living humans, although its shape was longer from front to back and not as rounded in the front. They lived 230,000 to 30,000 years ago. Homo sapiens modern, also known as Homo sapiens sapiens, have been around for the past 120,000 years. Homo sapiens living about 40,000 years ago made elaborate tools out of bone, antler, ivory, stone and wood and produced fine artwork in the form of carving. <laughs>
Pagmasdan ang pangyayari Let's go.